Hello. Good night, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? Are you guys okay? I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. I, I'm seeing that we have Elias, Eulise, and we have Boris. Welcome and Jose Miguel. Yay. All right. So are you ready to start the intermediate three? Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, everybody. Now you are an intermediate three. Good. Congratulations and welcome. This is your first class of intermediate three. Intermediate three. Can you imagine? We are advancing, right? We are moving forward. Yay. Okay, so we are escalating. So we want to uh we want to um uh, let's say that we want to cover uh, some new vocabulary. Also, remember that it's important for us listening, reading, comprehension. We need to write a lot. But most of all <laughs> will be speaking, all right? So you will be the ones developing speaking. All right, we are going to try to do this by team approach, okay? Team-based approach. So you will be um, team, uh, I mean, you will team up and talk, speak, express. That's the main purpose from now on okay from now on the main purpose is to speak to express okay uh we want to want uh to continue uh hogging or holding the fear right we're going to avoid fear no fear in this classroom no fear of speaking uh, I don't know if you remember when you started to learn English. Do you remember when you started to, to learn English? How was it? Yes, I... uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, Boris. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, Hi. I study English um, last two years, Paul. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, the last two years. Yes, last two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So it means that when you started, maybe you never thought you were going to get to this place, right? And now here you are, Boris. So yes, you did it. This is a success. Yeah, this is a success. All right. And a bit, Edwin, tell me, do you remember yes. when you started to learn English? Um, yes. Uh, How I did you start... feel then? So I was afraid because I didn't know some words and that uh, uh, in general for doubt okay. life, because uh, I knew mm -hmm. that I needed to learn many words and need to uh, how to express mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. someone else. And now I I try to practice with someone else. And if I, I know someone can speak English, I try to practice with them. Great, Edwin, yes, good. That's the attitude, that's the attitude. So we want to... Um, fight fear, fight fear, okay? Porque a veces vencer, vencer means to fight first, okay? To fight first because it's like, you know, you have to 
go over, go over the fear in, congratulations, congratulations, Edwin. That's a very good um, strategy to improve yourself, to improve learning by, I mean, from others, learning from others, because if you make a mistake, you know they are going to correct you, okay? So if they correct your mistakes, then you are going to correct your mistakes, right? So you are going to learn more. All right, yes, that's the strategy. And it's a very good strategy, I mean, yes, correct. Okay, then, uh, Rafael, we are speaking or talking about uh, when you started learning English. How do you feel? How did you feel when you started learning English? Is it the same as you feel today? Um, well, I don't remember uh, exactly. Okay. Uh, but I, I think I was uh, excited and and motivated for learn something new. Okay. Um, right now is more difficult because the 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 feelings when you start uh, uh, something new is more intense. Mm -hmm. But you need a uh, constancia. I don't know. Mm, um actually constants it means the same thing yeah constant. you you must be constant uh-huh you must okay. be constant yeah and we need a, a, a constant because it's a difficult way to learn uh something uh that complex like uh a language oh, all right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. You're right. Sometimes when we start something new or when, when we start a new project, um, we need to think first, right? We, we need to think in cold, cold mind, okay? And uh, actually intermediate level is mm, like an extension of the intermediate too. Uh, we, want to do the same strategy. I mean, this, the same approach. Uh, you are going to read, then you are going to talk about that topic. And then you are going to learn the terms and then you are going to express ideas, complete ideas. Remember that complete ideas are uh, compound by subject, verb, and complement, okay? We need to go to the basics just to remember that we need to express our ideas or order our ideas by subject, verb, and complement, always, always, as we do in the Spanish, right? As we do in the Spanish and as we should do in many other languages, okay? It's the same structure. We need to say who, what, okay? When, where, how, okay? So that, that, those are the um, words or the tips to follow when we want to order our ideas, okay? But first of all, and I mean, the most important thing is that you must be focused and that basics never ends, okay? Basics never ends. Basics is basics. So if basics is basics, the level that we are now, we are just adding some vocabulary, adding new structures to our basics, okay? To our basics. All right. Mm, well, we're gonna start by introducing ourselves, all right? My name is Carmen Beteta. Welcome everybody. I will be your teacher. I would like you to call me teacher Carmen if you want. Teacher Beteta is okay. Uh, actually, you may call me Teacher Carmencita if you want, okay? Um, today, 
we are going to refresh all the um, rules, okay, and the requirements from Insofor because we want to be in the same page, okay? We need to do the agreements here. And in the classroom, we need only three um, rules, okay? Listen, respect, and participate. Those are the three rules, okay? Listen, respect, participate. Listening involves uh, following the instructions, um, paying attention, being present, uh, joining classes, and also listening means that you, if you don't understand something, then you can go back to the videos and listen to them again, okay? And um, also with listening is, uh, I think the base of all is to uh, follow the instructions, okay? Understand completely the instructions first, for not fail for not failing okay if you fail sometimes you uh, i mean uh, you won't let me lie about this sometimes we fail because we didn't pay attention to the instructions so we need to listen to the instructions first and be sure that what the teacher is asking for is what i understood okay so the next one is to respect. Respect involves that if your partner or your classmate makes a mistake, we are not going to mock, right? We, we are not going to mock. Uh, we want to be um, helpful with them. We want to be patient with our classmates. Not everybody learns to the same pace, okay? You go learning in your own pace. And it's my job to guide you, okay? To guide you through your um, way of learning, even though the, the methodology is for everybody. And it's, uh, we could say, Mm, a friendly approach, okay? This is a friendly approach. We have a platform where, where we work and we need to respect each other. We respect each other when, we, when uh, um, at the time that we go to the breakout rooms, you do the exercises with your classmate. You don't leave your seat, okay? You don't leave your spot. Uh, you don't leave your classmate alone. You cooperate, okay? You collaborate and you team up to work together, okay? And so that's respect too. That's respect too. And the last, the last but is part of the other three, uh, other two is participate. This is a class that it's online class. It's an online class, but it doesn't mean that you are going just to connect or to join the class and then you are going to live to do any, any other thing, okay, I, I, or anything else. No, you are going to participate that's uh, what it's going to assure your success in these um, courses, okay? Participate, please participate. If you didn't understand anything that the teacher said or maybe in the uh, material that we provided, um, you have some dots, please don't hesitate and tell me. Uh, let me know about your dots. Let me know about what you didn't understand. And we want to make clear all the concepts, okay? So thank you every, everybody for 
being punctual because that's one of the requirements. The requirement says that our class is from 8 p.m. o'clock to 10 p.m. o'clock. I'm going to switch into Spanish for making clear all the requirements, okay? Switch. Ok, vamos entonces a ver los requerimientos de Insaforp y nos queremos poner de acuerdo en cómo funciona esto. Yo sé que ya pues ustedes han pasado por bastantes cursos, ¿verdad? Pero probablemente traemos algunos vicios que eh, debemos limpiar y ponernos ya en serio, ¿verdad? Y pues tenemos que respetar eh, las normas, ¿verdad? Tenemos que ser respetuosos de las normas. Entonces, vamos a ver entonces, recordar. Lo primero es que cuando nos conectemos, nos vamos a conectar con nuestro nombre completísimo. ¿verdad? De acuerdo a cómo nos inscribimos. Si nos inscribimos, eh, bueno, más las mujeres, ¿verdad? Cuando nos inscribimos con nombre de casada. Eh, y ya en nuestro DUI, ya ahorita lo cambié, pero cuando yo presenté mi documento a Insaforp, estaba de casada, usted está inscrita como de casada. En la próxima ya usted ya va a presentar su DUI normal. Así que no se me vayan a frustrar, chicas, por favor. Vamos a tener que usarlo tal como están inscritas. Así que, por favor, ahí arribita, ahorita pasan su clic así, ¿verdad? Su, su mouse sobre su carita y les aparecen dos botones azules. Uno dice, ask to unmute o silenciar, creo que dice, ¿verdad? O, des, no, no, ¿cómo sería la otra palabra? ¿Cómo les aparece en español? reactivar audio. Ah, bueno, eh, está más, más, eh, yo creo que es por el nivel suyo, don José Miguel. Ajá, sí, <risa> así en de manager, ajá. <risa> ah, Hablamos cambiar nombre, va, cambiar el, el nombre. mío, el mío de, diría renombrar. <risa> por men, por men. <risa> Exacto, va, entonces ahí pongan este, eh, donde les aparece renombrar o cambiar el nombre, ¿verdad? pongan su nombre completito, por favor, cada vez que se conecten con su nombre completo. Acordémonos que los homónimos nos pueden fregar acá, ¿verdad? Vamos a creer que está eh, Boris Alexander Pérez y era Boris Alexander Cortés el que estaba acá, ¿verdad? Entonces... Pueden ser dos o tres que están con el mismo nombre y necesitamos saber quién es el que está ahí detrás, ¿verdad? Detrás de la cámara. Así que, por favor, por eso lo decimos en español para que quedemos bien claritos. Ese es un requerimiento básico y eso es por motivos de auditoría, ¿ok? Bien, en la siguiente, el siguiente requerimiento, ahorita se los voy a mostrar, es definitivamente la asistencia, ¿verdad? La asistencia ya sabemos que es de toda la clase, ¿verdad? Vamos a estar en toda la clase. Son, perdón, son 120 minutos por los, eh, de clase, por lo que debemos de estar conectados desde las 8 de la noche hasta las 10 de la noche, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos que estar conectados hasta que finalizamos, ¿verdad? Déjenme mostrarles porque yo estaba por aquí y ahorita. Hoy sí. Bien. Ok, la asistencia. Esto es sumamente importante. Acordémonos que la asistencia debe ser al 100% de las clases. Para eso firmamos, ¿verdad? Sí entendemos las emergencias, pero que la emergencia no sea todos los días, porque entonces va a reprobar, ¿verdad? Entonces necesitamos que usted eh, asista al 100% de las clases. ¿En qué consiste tomar la asistencia o como válida? Consiste en que usted se conecta a las 8, a las 10 de la noche, usted se sale, ¿verdad? 
todos los días de clase, de lunes a viernes, ¿verdad? 120 minutos de clase, pero vamos a tomar la asistencia en diferentes ocasiones dentro de la clase y debe de tener su cámara encendida. Cuando pasemos lista es mucho más importante tenerla encendida y este, decir presente, ¿verdad? O present o here, ¿verdad? O dependiendo la actividad que ponemos en ese momento, ¿verdad? Para que cada uno participe y reforcemos ya sea vocabulario, estructuras, lo que queramos, eh, lo que la teacher les ponga a hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, para reforzar, para reforzar. También los vamos a poner a cantar, ¿verdad? Cuando tomemos la asistencia. Ahí todos se quedaron. Bueno, ya tienen que ir aprendiéndose las canciones, ¿verdad? Aunque sea de los Beatles, va. Aunque sea de los Beatles, vamos a cantar. Bien, entonces decíamos, fíjense que el horario ahora pues es 8 y 20 y a las 9.40, ¿verdad? Así que fíjense que la teacher padece de, una, de un síndrome, ¿verdad? Del síndrome <risa> de la, de el olvido, ¿verdad? No, no es del alemán, no, 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 no es del Alzheimer, pero... Este, a veces nos emocionamos mucho, ¿verdad? Pero necesito que me recuerden, por favor, aunque yo les diga, eh, sí, sí, ahorita vamos, pero vuelvan a recordar, por favor, que no se nos pase porque es sumamente importante que quede registrado en el sistema su asistencia y que la teacher también dé fe que usted ha estado acá, ¿verdad? Bien, la siguiente, sí. dígame, dígame, José Miguel. Aprovechando el... el... El, el comercial. El aviso. Sí, ya es hora de la primera. Ya es hora de la primera, exacto. Gracias, José Miguel, gracias. Bien, bueno, solo termino que los permisos no están disponibles, ¿verdad? Eso sí, no hay permisos disponibles. Siempre acuérdense que de acuerdo lo, al orden de lista, les vamos a, a dar sus 10 minutos de fama para que usted pueda hacer las consultas que usted quiera, usted solito, solita con su teacher, ¿verdad? Si alguna cosa de las tareas, si alguna cosa de lo que usted quiera preguntar con respecto de la clase, ¿verdad? Obviamente, este, después de la clase se le asignan 10 minutos a cada estudiante de acuerdo al orden de lista. Bien, entonces, permisos no disponibles, ya eso ya lo sabemos que la teacher no le puede decir así, ah, no venga. No, la teacher siempre les va a decir, acuérdese que es un requerimiento, porque ese es el requerimiento que me ponen a mí, ¿verdad? Y pues estamos en la misma página. Bien, entonces, ahorita todos listos, ¿verdad? Everybody ready? I'm going to call the, the roll, so please everybody, turn your camera on, and when I call your name, you will say present. Remember, present. If... Oops, wait just a minute. Um, all right. Ya la había dejado listo y, y, y dejé listo otro. Ah, perdónenme, compañeros. Perdónenme. Ya cuando vi los nombres de... Uy, no, no. Ok. Vaya, estamos listos, ¿verdad? Are you ready? Ay, qué lindo yes. se ve. Yes. No, esto es... Yes, Yes, wow, a... wow, qué guapos todos, Dios me guarde, qué clase más bonita esta. Bienvenidos sean todos y vamos a llamar la asistencia, ok? We are going to call the roll, so everybody please, ready, and you will say present, ok. Vamos. Um. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Por ahí lo vi conectado, ¿verdad? Ok. 
Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. I'm here teacher. All right, good. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. I'm here teacher. Great. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Okay. Elías Neftali Martínez González. Present teacher. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Present. Okay, welcome. José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present teacher. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here teacher. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, José Salvador me dijo present, ¿verdad? I'm here. Okay, yeah. Yes, welcome, yes, José Salvador. Welcome. Okay. Josman, welcome. Karen Lizette Sánchez Castro. Miss Karen. Not yet. All right. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Méndez. Present. Menéndez, teacher. Menéndez. Okay. No sé si. Oh, sí, 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 está correcto. Menéndez, thank you. Okay. I apologize. Okay. okay. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. All right. Eh, Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. I am here. Okay. Welcome, Santiago. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Not yet. All right, but I could, he can make it. Okay, guys, so we're going to start by uh, doing an activity just to know each other, okay? Bien. A ver, ¿quién ha jugado? Eh... Teacher, excuse me. Teacher. Tell me. Excuse me. Okay, Boris, tell me. Uh, Alvaro Ernesto, he, he say a problem in, in chat. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I will check it out. Just give me one second. Have you ever played a... Um, uh, did he say that in the chat? Oh, in this chat. All right. The Zoom chat. Oh. Oh, okay, Alvaro. Now I understand. Thank you very much. Mm, okay. No, no le ha de aceptar los audífonos. But if you want, just unplug it and plug them again for it to start automatically. Maybe you will, if you try. Oh yeah, it, it didn't sound. Okay, no problem, Alvaro, but you may use the chat, all right? You may use the chat. Okay, people, we are going to play just a little bit. One thing, who stole the cookie? Have you ever played who stole the cookie? Have you ever played who stole the cookie? Yes, teacher. Have you ever played it? All right, okay. Then we are going to play that someone stole the cookie. It means uh, it's similar to eh, fulanito robo pan, yeah, in la tienda de San Juan, something like that. So we have the idea, right? So I'm going to say a name and then I'm going to, uh, allow me to, to show you, okay? Allow me to show you the, the script, okay? And just give me one second, allow me to go there. Okay, here we go. Hmm. 
Okay. So I'm going to say a name and I'm going to say stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Okay, for example, this is an example. Okay. Carmen stole the cookie from the cookie jar. And I'm going to answer who me? I mean to ask who me? And then you are going to answer, yay, yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Entonces yo voy a decir, then I'm going to say a different name. All right. So let's start over. Okay, I will start with Santiago. Santiago stole the cookie from the cookie jar. And Santiago asks, Who me? Everybody say, Yay, yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? Then who? Elias Neftali. What? Elias stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Who, me? Yeah, hey, you. You. Yeah, you. Hey, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then, then who? You. Then who? Boris. Boris stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It's what's on me. Then who? Then, then you. who? Uh, Ulises Torres. <laughs> Ulysses stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah who, you. you. It wasn't me. No. Then who? Then who? Okay. Uh, Hosman. Hosman, uh, everybody. Hosman stole the cookie <laughs> from, the from the cookie, the cookie jar. jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. Me, you. It was me? Then who? Then who? who? It wasn't, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> then who? Then, then who? who? Then who? Then who? Then who? Then who? Then who? Rafa stole the cookie from the cookie herb. Okay, Rafa stole the cookie, Rafa from, stole the the cookie, cookie from the cookie jar. jar. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. <laughs> Yeah. Who? 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 Carlos Ernesto. Carlos, Carlos Ernesto stole the cookie, stole the cookie, cookie from the, the cookie. cookie. Yeah. 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 Ana Lorena stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Okay, Ana Lorena stole the cookie, the cookie from, the, from cookie the cookie jar. jar. Oh. Who, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah you. you. It was me? No, then it wasn't. Who? It wasn't who? me. It wasn't me. Then who? Then who? Then who? Uh, Nelson. Nelson stole the Nelson cookie from the cookie, from the cookie jar. jar. Oh. Who, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah you. you. It wasn't me. Then, then who? 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 Uh, Karen. Karen stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Me? Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then who? Santiago? Santiago stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah you. It wasn't me. Oh, and who? who? Karen. Karen. Karen stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then, then who? 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 Fatima. Fatima stole the cookie from the cookie jar. jar. Fatima? No, ella no fue. No, she wasn't, right? No, no, she was. She's and she ate the, the cookie. Yeah, she ate the cookie, hiding. <laughs> yeah, she's hiding. <laughs> okay, let's start over. Let's... 
Edwin stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Our... Edwin? Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. What's the name? Dan who? Dan who? who? Um, Carlos Dominguez? Carlos stole the cookie from, from the, from the cookie, cookie jar. jar. Yeah. yeah. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. you. Yeah, you. Uh, you. Mr. Carlos. Same who? No, no, it wasn't it me. Wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Then who? Then who? Salvador. Salvador stole the cookie from the cookie. cookie, from yeah. the cookie. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah. yeah you. 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 It wasn't me. Then, then who? who? Santiago. Santiago stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah you. you. It wasn't me. Then, then, then who? 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 Eulise. <laughs> okay. Eulise told the cookie from the cookie, cookie jar. Who, yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, you. Who? It wasn't me. Then, then who? 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 Um, Karen Sanchez. Okay. Karen stole the cookie from the cookie jar. jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. Yeah, yeah, you. Then who? Edwin. Edwin stole the cookie from the cookie from the jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't me. Then who? Kevin. I remember the number. Kevin? Kevin. Who Kevin stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't me. Then, then who? who? Rafael. Rafael. Rafael, Rafael stole, stole the cookie, cookie from the cookie, cookie jar. jar. Me? Yeah. Yeah, you. you. Yeah, you. That was, I don't know. It wasn't it was me. me. Then who? Then who? Then who? who? Jose Miguel. Um, Nelson. Jose Miguel stole the cookie. Jose Miguel stole the cookie. Who, me? Yeah, yeah, you. Who, me? Yeah, you. you. It wasn't me. Then, who? The teacher. The teacher stole the cookie. The cookie jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah you. 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 Send me. Then, then who? 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 <laughs> Ana Lorena. <laughs> Ana Lorena. Lorena stole the cookie from the cookie, 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 cookie jar. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah. 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 Who? 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 It wasn't me. Then, then who? 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 Uh, Neftali. Neftali stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. you. It wasn't me. Then, then who? Kevin. Kevin, Kevin stole the cookie from the cookie, 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 cookie jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. you. It wasn't me. Then, then who? who? Jose Salvador. Jose, Jose Salvador stole the cookie, cookie from the cookie jar. jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. you. It wasn't me. Then, then who? who? Nelson. Nelson stole the cookie from the cookie, from the cookie, cookie jar. The cookie yeah. jar. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. you. It wasn't me. Then, then who? 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 Boris. Boris stole the cookie from the cookie, cookie, from the cookie, jar. cookie jar. jar. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It wasn't me. Then, then who? who? Uh, Yeah. <laughs>
Elías Nestalí Martínez. Elías Nestalí, Elías Nestalí. From, the cookie, from, from the cookie, from the cookie. From the cookie. cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah you. you. It wasn't me. Then yeah. who? 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 The teacher. <gasps> The teacher, the Carmen. teacher Carmen. From the, from the cookie, from the cookie. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you. You. What you and me? Then who? who? Uh, it was... It was uh, yeah, there are. Uh, Edwin. 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 Yes, Edwin was the cookie from the cookie. From the cookie. cookie. Yeah. 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 Who, me? Yeah, yeah. you. 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 You asked me. Then you. Who? Who? Um, Ulises. Ulises, all right. A ver, okay. hemos hecho bien, ¿verdad? Eh? Ya nos yeah. conocimos bastante. We, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we knew each other. We knew each other today. So I think we are going to stop just a little while, okay? Meanwhile, I continue with the presentations, okay? Because now you are going to know who I am, okay? You are going to know who I am. My name is Carmen Beteta. Okay, I will be your teacher for all these modules, intermediate three, three. And uh, well, I hold a degree in public relations and communications. And actually, I have studied English to teach. Okay, to teach the language. And uh, I have had some experience teaching in different universities, also in different schools, right? Just like, uh, such as Universidad Pedagógica, in UCA, and UTEC, some uh, subjects related to my career, and Educlas is another school like this one, right? In the same field, teaching English, okay? With Inglés Corporativo, I have uh, around uh, two years, maybe? Two years or a little more, right? Uh, teaching English. So I'm glad to be your teacher for this module. And I hope that everybody here feels um, that what I prepare, I prepare it with um, uh, we're gonna say with the task approach, okay, Co with the best approach I can mix for you, okay? I can get for you. And I prepare all my classes thinking about my group, okay? The, the current course, okay? We recycle things, but it doesn't mean that uh, we are not going to be updated, okay? We are continuously updating our strategies my strategies and improving myself to teach you in the best way I could do it, all right? So this is me. And um, actually now I knew your names, all of you. Now I know that I have Eulice Torres here, Jose Miguel, Jose Salvador, Santiago, Carlos Ernesto, Josman, Rafael, and I'm very glad that we continue in the way, okay? We continue in this path of learning. And I just want to remark this. We have these dates, but these dates are not updated, all right? Um, I will switch into Spanish to finish or to complete the requirements from INSOFER, okay? Bien, tenemos nuestra plataforma. Espero que todos tengan acceso a su plataforma. Al, ¿Han podido ingresar a su plataforma todos? Yes, yes, okay. yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, great. Yes, yes, teacher. Great. Entonces, ahí no tenemos ninguna situación, ¿verdad? Yes, it's hot. Yeah, it's, it's a hot evening. All right. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones en nuestra plataforma 
para que usted pueda completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Dice el 80%, pero yo sé que usted va a ser de los de 100%, ¿ok? Eh, cualquier situación que usted tenga con la plataforma, con conceptos, con conocimiento, con significados, terminologías, usted no dude en preguntar, ¿ok? Ese es mi eh, trabajo ayudarle a usted o darle el apoyo para que usted logre este objetivo, ¿verdad? De poder obtener su, su calificación completa al 100%, ¿verdad? El 80 se pone por A por B, pero en realidad usted va a trabajar anticipadamente, ¿verdad? Usted no va a estar esperando a que finalice la clase para hacer la siguiente tarea, no. Usted métase a la plataforma y a trabajar, ¿verdad? Excuse me. Dígame. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, dígame, uh, dígame. You, you showed me, uh, you showed me uh, as in login the platform. Actually, I can see who is joined at this very moment. Okay. I, I can see who is uh, right now joined or working in the platform. What I can see is when you submit your homework or you submit your exams, then I can uh, see the evaluations and your grades. So I know that you are working. That's the way that I uh, realize that you are working, okay? That I can prove that you are working, okay? Not in the moment, not in the moment if you are connected or or not, so I'm sorry, I can't see, okay? Okay. But in the platform, ustedes van a encontrar el manual que vamos a estar utilizando, que es nuestro material, ¿verdad? Ahí está, en nuestro, eh, en nuestra plataforma encontramos tanto el manual, las tareas, las evaluaciones. Usted trabaje en su, el, para eso está la plataforma, trabajar en su tiempo, pero eso sí, no debe dejar que su tiempo sea hasta el final del curso, ¿verdad? No, su tiempo tiene que ser constante y anticipado, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que siempre hay problemas de que Dios no quiera, que la compu me falló, que no me traje el cargador de la compu, que se fue el internet, que no hay energía eléctrica, que yo vio una tormenta eléctrica, etcétera, Es lo que nos puede suceder y lo que hay que evitar, ¿verdad? Y anticiparnos. Entonces, empezamos día lunes, cada viernes tenemos que tener realizadas las cinco tareas de esa semana. No quiere decir que solo esas cinco. Usted ya puede tener hechas las siguientes. Aquí nadie lo va a detener para trabajar, ¿verdad? Y es bueno, si usted se adelanta también, es bueno porque cuando usted viene a la clase, usted ya sabe de lo que se trata, ya sabe más o menos por dónde va a ir la cosa y va a ir como más encaminado, ¿verdad? Y ya después, si algo le salió o no completó algo porque no lo sabía en ese momento, cuando ya hayamos realizado la clase, usted ya va a poder finalizar satisfactoriamente su tarea y poder subirla, ¿verdad? La tarea la pueden realizar eh, constantemente, o sea, eh, perdón, una y otra vez. Quiere decir que si usted siente que no llegó al 100% y entonces ahora sí lo puedo hacer mejor, vaya y vuelva a hacerlo, ¿ok? Vuelva a hacerlo y la última calificación es la que va a quedar registrada. No, no es solo para hacerla una sola vez. No, al contrario, está para practicar. Acordémonos que vamos a dominar esto si leemos. Entre más leemos y más si leemos lo que ya leímos, nos va a favorecer a nosotros para la, la comprensión lectora. Aparte, vamos a enriquecer vocabulario. Aparte, vamos a enriquecer el uso de las estructuras gramaticales que estemos viendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted puede hacerlas todo el tiempo o todas las veces que usted quiera hacerlo. Solo recuerde que la última vez que usted le dio submit es la nota que va a quedar registrada, ¿verdad? 
Bien, después de cada clase, ahí van en la plataforma, va a quedar subido el video de cada clase. Usted puede ir, volverlo a ver, si algo le quedó en duda o algo usted no, no escuchó porque en ese momento el audio falló. Eh, usted no se preocupe, usted puede ir de regreso al video, ¿verdad? Y este, en, la ventaja de ver el video es que usted lo puede poner todas las veces que usted quiera, ¿verdad? Todas las veces que usted quiera. Así que vean los videos lo más que ustedes puedan a modo de no dejar lagunas, ¿verdad? No dejar lagunas. Así que vayamos um, avanzando satisfactoriamente, ¿verdad? Bien, entonces, las tareas y los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada martes, dice acá, porque está así. Vamos a decir cada viernes, porque no hemos empezado en miércoles, ¿ok? Hemos empezado en lunes, entonces cada viernes a la medianoche, ¿verdad? Este registro en SAFOR prácticamente ellos lo toman automáticamente, semanalmente. Si usted no va en el listado, probablemente va a aparecer ahí en el WhatsApp que le digan, mire, este... Señor fulano de tal, eh, por favor, trabaje en la plataforma. Y no queremos, ¿verdad? Eso yo, a mí me encantaría que cada viernes no haya observación, ¿verdad? En las auditorías y vamos a salir que todos hemos trabajado, ¿verdad? Somos un equipo acá. Cualquier cosa, cualquier duda entre nosotros mismos, o sea, entre ustedes mismos también pueden aportar, ¿verdad? Eso es una de las estrategias que yo les he comentado que funciona mucho. Enseñarle a otro lo que yo he aprendido. Así se me queda a mí mucho más, ¿verdad? Y al mismo tiempo practico. Si le explico a alguien cómo era la cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted tiene una duda si la teacher todavía no ha contestado y usted sabe la respuesta. Digamos que alguien hizo una pregunta y usted sabe la respuesta. Vaya y con mucho gusto usted comparta, ¿verdad?, con sus compañeros. Bien, la, tenemos dos exámenes, tenemos el intermedio y tenemos el final, ¿ok? The meter test usually is after the second, the second week, pero en este caso nosotros no tenemos cuatro semanas de trabajo, sino que tenemos cinco semanas de trabajo, ¿ok? Este curso comienza ahorita, vamos a a terminar el June the 16th, ¿verdad? Vamos a terminar el 16 de junio, if I'm not wrong. Right? Am I mistaken? No, no just to confirm this. Yeah, June the 16th, if I'm not wrong. Entonces, en, ese, en esas cinco semanas, ¿verdad? se deben de presentar tanto... Ay, me sacó. Perdonen, perdonen. En esas cinco semanas, ustedes van a ver que tenemos el desarrollo de cuatro unidades. ¿Ya? ¿Ya? Tenemos el desarrollo de cuatro unidades. Eh, la unidad dos, la unidad dos, será por dos semanas, ¿ok? For two weeks. La unidad dos es marketing. If you're at, on the platform, you can check that out, ¿ok? Pueden chequear eso. Otra vez. Oh, God. Bien, entonces, ahí ustedes van a encontrar que al final de la sección 2 tenemos el midterm, el midterm test, que es al final de todo, toda la unidad 2, ¿ok? Es de la unidad 2. Aquí viene la confusión que a veces se les da a los de intermedio, que uno dice es... En la sección 2, ¿verdad? O en la unidad 2. Después de esa sección va el intermedio. De, obviamente es toda la unidad, son dos semanas. 
no quiere decir que usted hasta la última semana lo va a estar haciendo, ¿verdad? No. Lo que indica aquí es que la unidad 2 es eh, semana 2 y semana 3. Entonces, a la semana 3 debe estar subido el examen intermedio. ¿Sí? Pero yo no le voy a decir nada si usted, al contrario, le voy a agradecer que usted lo haga antes, ¿verdad? de que finalicen la, eh, la tercera semana. Bien, a ver, déjenme llegar a la plataforma, que es lo que he estado tratando de hacer, y ahí. Entonces, ahí en la plataforma tenemos todo lo que vamos a utilizar. Es una plataforma bastante friendly user. User friendly, perdón. Entonces, tenemos las cuatro secciones, pero en la sección 2, acá en la unidad 2, tenemos dos semanas. Tenemos la 2.0 y de la 2.1 en adelante. Entonces, Marketing, ¿verdad? Marketing. Entonces, en este, después de cada dos videos, va una tarea. Después de cada dos videos, va una tarea. Y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Eso nos lleva a tener dos semanas, ¿sí? Con la unidad dos. Acá tenemos todo nuestro eh, menú, ¿ok? Menú. These are the buttons we are using, the progress. Ahí usted chequea su progreso, ¿verdad? Ahí chequea usted para comprobar que ha hecho las cinco formularios de la tarea 1. Son cinco formularios y van a llegar hasta cada uno con el 20%, ¿verdad? Igual, unidad 2 y va a llegar hasta arriba, unidad 3, perdón, en la homework 2 and homework 3, ¿verdad? La unidad 3 sí es acá, en la tarea 3. Y la unidad 4 en la tarea 4. Luego, esto se promedia, ¿ok? Su midterm test y el final. Estos tres son lo que le va a dar la calificación del 80%, más la asistencia. ¿verdad? más la encuesta de satisfacción. Son las tres notas que vamos a, eh, los tres requisitos ¿verdad? para su pase. Bien, esta es una eh, viñeta, label, que es muy útil para usted. Ahí usted va a encontrar Material extra que la teacher les va a subir, ya sean actividades de video, TVT, o listening, o reading, o cualquier actividad relacionada eh, dentro del de material del de manual que tenemos acá. Por acá tenemos el manual, ¿verdad? En esta discusión yo les solicito que participen, que participen, entre. Esto no está evaluado con el 80%. Esto va evaluado apreciativamente. Apreciativamente quiere decir que usted, qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Por alguna razón usted ha tenido cierta dificultad y me hace saber y vengo yo y pongo nota para los auditores, ¿verdad? de que usted ha sido puntual, de que usted ha está tratado, pero se arruinó la computadora, qué sé yo, cualquier cosa y por eso no estuvo esos 120 minutos. Apreciativamente esto pesaría, ¿verdad? esto pesaría para considerarlo en la próxima convocatoria. Apreciativamente también esto lo consideran para no... Eh, invitarlos nuevamente, ¿verdad? Porque no está aprovechando al 100%. Entonces, hay que, hay que aprovechar. La verdad es que hay que aprovecharlo, ¿verdad? Estas son eh, tareas extra. Como repito, no van en el número. Eso no quiere decir que usted no va a pasar, ¿verdad? Pero también, si la asistencia no le da, por ejemplo, 
y qué sé yo, cualquier otra situación, no sé, en este momento no se me ocurre qué podría ser, pero esto le daría peso, ¿verdad? le daría peso a que usted sí participa, si es un buen estudiante. ¿verdad? Bien, aquí está nuestro manual, ¿verdad? Se le dan ahí y aquí está nuestro manual. Ustedes lo pueden descargar para que podamos, eh, puedan trabajar en papel. Más los que, pues sí, son como de mi escuela, ¿verdad? De la vieja escuela. A veces nos gusta más escribir y que se nos quede, ¿verdad? Entonces, imprimámoslo para los que quieran trabajarlo en papel, ¿verdad? Ahí tenemos todo el material que estamos usando. Tenemos el, los contenidos desarrollados y tenemos este mapita que es sumamente importante y, to, y todos los que lo siguen han visto que descarga mucho el estrés, ¿verdad? que a veces se nos pega un estrés, híjole, y ahora no he oído y no he entendido nada. ¿Y ¿Cómo le voy a hacer? Bueno, ve acá. ¿Cuál es el vocabulario MED? What's the target vocabulary for the unit we are in? Por, para la unidad que estemos viendo. Veamos cuáles son los objetivos. What the objectives are? Porque si usted no seguía por los objetivos y no seguía por esto, va a tener como una nube de muchas cosas y no va a... Eh, afirmar el conocimiento que se requiere, o sea, digamos, no va a ser puntual su aprendizaje. En este caso, vemos que Unit 1, it says stages of the product life cycle. And it gives examples like market introduction, growth, maturity, decline, causes and strategies for the decline of the product, uh, for example, the obsolescence, uh, the demand, downturn, global competition, co-branding, discontinuation, innovation, and that's the target vocabulary. We need to practice. This is the vocabulary we're going to learn. So for you need to do the same vocabulary, okay? Uh, the same, in the vocabulary you check what's the vocabulary that you need to achieve. Entonces, este es un mapa en donde usted va a encontrar el vocabulario meta. ¿Verdad? Usted necesita saber este vocabulario para saber que sí ha aprendido lo que se debía aprender, ¿verdad? Bien, y aquí están, pues, los eh, objetivos para desarrollar las competencias, ¿verdad? Las competencias y habilidades. En este caso, eh, el objetivo nos lleva a desarrollar una habilidad. Y en esto pues tenemos también listening, tenemos grammar, reading, and writing. Estas son nuestras competencias, ¿verdad? Grammar, listening, reading, and writing. Aquí en el manual ustedes van a encontrar eh, algunos artículos, algunos videos, y también hay algunas direcciones eh, que los llevan a sitios en la web externos, ¿verdad? Que no son producidos ni por inglés corporativo ni por Insafor, sino que son de escuelas eh, o que están en la red, ¿verdad? Eh, o también ejemplos y casos reales, ¿verdad? Que nosotros ponemos como eh, ejemplos o como refuerzo, ¿verdad? Incluso algunos son parte del desarrollo. Entonces, aquí se lo va definiendo. Por ejemplo, en el listening, ¿qué es lo que hay que desarrollar? To understand the decline stage of a product. Todo el vocabulario relacionado, ¿verdad? A esa etapa de eh, la vida del producto, ¿verdad? Eh, y, e incluso video, video clases, todo eso viene relacionado ahí, en donde usted puede ir y apoyarse, ¿verdad? Apoyarse. En el reading, los articles, los artículos que, se, que vienen dentro del manual, ¿verdad? Bien, y tenemos la actividad de writing. Writing es sumamente importante para nosotros ya a este nivel. 
porque antes pues escribíamos, eh, qué sé yo, sin puntuaciones o sin reglas de spelling o sin eh, tener mayor cuidado, ¿verdad? Pues ya vamos con mayor cuidado y dice pues ya vamos escribiendo análisis, ¿verdad? Ya vamos escribiendo, eh, eh, digamos, teoría real, teoría real. Entonces, esto es muy, muy importante porque lo que usted escribe lo saben muchos profesionales. O sea, no, no lo está escribiendo solo porque hay que cumplir un objetivo, ¿verdad? Y que, ah, lo que sea, voy a escribir, aunque no tenga sentido. No, aquí ya estamos poniéndole el sentido. Communication, communication by writing. Okay, by writing. Acordémonos que nos comunicamos por escrito ahora mucho más que antes. Ahora con los text messages, emails, Twitter, and the social media, ¿verdad? The social networks. Entonces, necesitamos desarrollar eso muy bien. Entonces, ustedes se van a ir guiando, ¿verdad? En la gramática, en the grammar, vamos punto por punto. Y acá usted va a saber lo que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, no pudo estar por una emergencia en la clase. Va, mira el video y guíese por este mapita. ¿verdad? Ah, están viendo esto. Ah, puedo ir a ver este video. Ah, esta, esta es la lectura que ahí están diciendo en el video. Ah, o esta es la lectura que aparece en el manual. ¿verdad? Ah, tengo que hacer esto. Y hay que hacerlo para poder ponerse al día. To catch up, ¿verdad? Para estar al mismo nivel de los demás. Bien. Entonces tenemos que en la página 9, we start unit 1. So, allow me to introduce all of this course, okay? This course, I mean, what do you expect from the intermediate three level? What do you expect? A ver, vamos a preguntar. We are going to ask each one of you. Let's uh, ask Jose Miguel, what do you expect? from the intermediate three level. Escribió algo? No. Did he write anything? No? Not yet? Okay, then let's ask Jose Salvador. Jose Salvador, what do you expect from the intermediate three level? I expect to learn new concept and practice. Que sea practical. Good. Good. Okay, now there you are, Jose Miguel. So what do you expect from this level? Well, I expect um, there are new words, uh, meanings of the words, and how to use that in my daily, daily life, in the work and uh, personal relationships. And I, I hope uh, will be better in the language. Great, to improve. Okay, Elias Neftali, what do you expect from the intermediate three? I expect um, learn new vocabulary and practice more English. Good. Edwin Antonio, what do you expect from this lab? Uh, for this level, uh, I expect to improve my English, my English level, and now many words that I can use in my work. And with this subject, um, I know that we can improve my English because uh, all subjects 
that we learned this module and it's uh, useful for the real life English. All right, good, good. Kevin Alfredo, what do you expect from this level? Uh, really my expect uh, about this level is remove my skirt in, in English and, and you told uh, we are going to learn how right with the punctuation and, and with uh, any emails and my aspect about right in emails is more important for me. Oh, good, good. What is Alexander? What do you expect from this intermediate level? Um, my aspect is a uh, letter learn vocabulary. Uh, uh, I for more idiom, uh, practice, more practice uh, speaking. Uh, I uh, learn, learn more uh, uh, vocabulary uh, for using, uh, 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 how do you say uh, search search uh, search uh, uh, a letter work search a letter work source or search search to investigate uh no search uh, how do you say buscar in english oh search 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 search, search. Mm -hmm. search uh, a little word uh mm. only that <laughs> okay a letter word what, what do you mean with lettered word uh uh oh english. better Better. 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 Oh, okay. better. 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 Okay. Better good. Work. Good. Better work. Oh, okay. all right. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay. To look for a better job. To look uh, for better, a better okay, job. Okay. All right. Uh, nice. I, uh, uh, I expect, you can say, I, can, I expect, I expect you to mm. look for a better job yeah to look for a better yeah. job yes yes okay great great boris uh, uh, okay practice, go ahead the practice for uh, for i mean how do you say me cuesta formar la idea oh, okay it's difficult, difficult to order the idea uh, okay, Dif uh, I difficult uh, order e idea. Okay, okay. But the idea, as I was saying, you will go to basics, okay? I always get you to the basics uh, to, to um, establish where we started. Uh, when we started reading by subject, verb, and complement. Okay, subject, verb, and complement. That will be very useful for you in this module, okay? okay thank you. Thank Good. You. All right, Carlos Ernesto, what do you expect? Okay, with my with level, I hope uh, to improve listening. Uh, I hope to improve um, speaking. I difficult uh, I express, express. Um, he, um, uh, to improve my vocabulary. Great. 
Great. Yeah. I think your expectations meet with the material we are going to cover, okay? Because we are going to cover um, the development of listening, speaking, grammar, vocabulary, and writing. Uh, the reading comprehension is really useful to, to um, yeah, to, to, improve or to achieve more vocabulary, to get more vocabulary. When we are extending our vocabulary, um, we need new fields where to apply them, okay? With new fields where to apply them because usually when we are in the same field, we use the same vocabulary. We don't change the words because the processes are the same. So we don't need to change. We don't need to challenge ourselves to know more vocabulary or to get more vocabulary. That's why we need to move from field to field to learn more vocabulary. Because sometimes, for example, if you go to the supermarket, you know the words, you know uh, the word vocabulary, I mean, the vocabulary words, for example, you can say soap, you can say toothpaste, uh, you can say the name of things. But if you want to express what you wish or what you want, what you prefer, what you rather, then it becomes a challenge, okay? It becomes a challenge. So this is the way we are going to work. We are going to learn the the, or I'm going to explain something, uh, you are going to read something, then you are going to team up, and then you are going to express the ideas with what I explained. That will be our way of working. And I think it will be um, a, it will be the, let's say, the best strategy, the best strategy, a practice, practical strategy, okay? So allow me to, to go and show you the objective because we have some, we work, um, we work getting goals, okay? We, we work getting goals. I think that's the best way to get something if we plan the thing, okay? If we know the, uh, the purpose, if we know the purpose, then we work uh we work on getting the course okay so let's look at the course general objective the course general objective our course general objective is that you are going to develop second you will develop the different skills as i was saying okay uh, listening comprehension, speaking, reading, writing, pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary skills. Okay, this is what we are going to gather all together um, to, okay, for instance, for instance, when we want to a order our ideas usually they they are not just to express them orally maybe you have to understand them maybe you have to write the idea maybe you have to um share the idea in a different way so this is why we need to develop all the skills at the same time all together okay all together so we need the listening comprehension because we need to understand what they are saying. We need to develop that speaking because we need to express our ideas. We need the reading because we want to know the things that someone wrote to you, okay? We need the writing because there are other kind of um, ways to communicate by messages. Pronunciation, because usually when we speak, sometimes or usually when we speak people doesn't people don't understand because we don't pronounce pronounce correctly 
So we need to pronounce, I mean, to pronounce the words correctly. Uh, even that, even though we have our own accent, we have our own, own accent, Salvadoran accent. So we need to work on this to improve our pronunciation. Okay, and it's not incorrect to speak or to pronounce with my accent, but I need to take it closer, closer to the um, main pronunciation, okay, or to the original pronunciations. We need to be careful with this. And then the grammar, that's important, the order of words and an idea the order of words in a sentence, how to structure our thoughts, our thoughts, what we think, what we want, what we wish. We need to order words to express them correctly. Then the vocabulary skills. Vocabulary is not only to know the words, it's to define the words, to express what they are, uh, to uh, define as colloquial terms, uh, define something. For example, if I say, what's a computer, guys? What's a computer? Can you define a computer in English? So that's vocabulary skills, okay? If I ask right now, for example, Kevin Alfredo, what is a computer? What is a computer? Computer is a instrument that we use in our work to send messages, to do a, a homework, and to do write um, a text. And okay. we can see videos in the computer. And oh, so we call it cell phones. We call that cell phones, right? Then we need but, to, uh -huh, yeah, got it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> the computer uh, have a cloud. <laughs> oh, okay, a keyboard, right. Then you start describing the thing to better understanding, right? So vocabulary is not to know the word, it's to define, to describe the object, to present what the object is. So this is what we want to work on okay with the vocabulary skills it's not uh to know the word but to understand the word when you hear that word or to use the word in a paragraph in a sentence in an idea okay describing the object if it is an object describing the person if it is a person describing the situation if it is a situation Okay, so we need to see that the vocabulary skills is not only knowing the word, okay? Usually we say, but I know that word. I know what an umbrella is because I have the image in my mind, but define what's an umbrella. What is an umbrella, for example, right? So that's vocabulary. In different contexts, uh, that's important that we need to move Around some uh, around different fields or contexts to um, to use the same word is not the same word uh, that I can understand with a computer or it's not the same computer that I want because of my needs than a gamer wants or what a gamer define as a computer right or maybe uh, it's not the same that um I, I don't want to be offensive but an old guy of 80 years old right a, an 80 years guy defined as a computer it's not the same as a key defines as a computer okay so we need to see the context okay we need to see the context where this word work okay where this word is used and where it fits, okay? And donde si cabe, where it fits. So that's the situation here. Well, our context in this module will be PLC, the product life. 
cycle, okay? Marketing, branding, and customers and companies loyalty. It will, be, it will be also customer and company loyalty, right? It could be in singular or in plural and it's the same thing, okay? But loyalty, it's a value, right? A core value. So we need to define what is loyalty. Do you know what loyalty is? Can you define that in words? So that's why we need to um, practice some vocabulary skills to develop that. So. Let's continue with the structure of this course will be in the unit one, as in the objective, we wrote, uh, um, we read, unit one says product life cycle. Unit two, marketing. Unit three, branding. Unit four, loyalty. Okay, so welcome everybody to your class number one. This is your class number one for intermediate three. And we want to talk about what PLC is. Look, P L C, P L C, product life cycle. Okay. The objectives to study the product life cycle as to describe details about the stages of the product life cycle. So, I mean, it, it means that when they describe stages, we need the mm, se sequencers or sequence words, right? Sequence words, because if it is a process, obviously we have stages. And then when we want to define what's going on in the product life cycle, then we need the sequencers. We need um, the preferences, okay, preferences. We need to know about the product development, right? That's what I said, that this is an extension of the intermediate two. Okay then, make suggestions. We want to make suggestions about how to deal with market saturation. We are going to learn what is that, what's market saturation, and uh, how to deal, how to deal, right? So um, we will be able to identify, identify reasons for the decline of a product. Decline of a product, so it means stages. Decline could be a stage, market saturation, Maybe it's part of a stage or something in the process, right? Something in the process. Now, suggest so strategies for a business to deal with the decline of a product. Okay. Suggest strat strategies for a business to deal with the decline of a product. How many of you work in marketing here? How many of you work in mar marketing? Do you work in marketing area, in the marketing area? Do you work in sales? Who works in sales here? Yes, I do. All right, Santiago. Okay, good. Um, anyone here works in, um, let's say, a in a management, any management of the company, supervise, supervision, management, accounting? Yes. Uh, all right, thank you, Ellie. And um, I don't know if you have ever uh, noticed um the way or the process that a product ha has had along its life. Maybe there are products that they don't exist anymore. Do you, uh, I mean, can you think about these products that maybe you used before, maybe you were able to obtain before, but now in this days, you are not able to get them because they don't 
produce these products anymore. Do you have that experience? Do you remember any product that doesn't exist anymore? In our company, um, in the real life. I think in, in the real life, any, any product. A Walkman. A Walkman, yeah, a Walkman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. It's not useful anymore, right? They don't produce any Walkman anymore. Mm -hmm. Uh, look, gloopy. Gloop. Ah, gloopy. Okay. Refreshment. Yes. See yes. this more or less, huh? Is it a beverage? Yeah. Uh, for kids. Yeah, like a beverage in a bag. Okay. What about the Popeye? The Popeye chocolates. Do you remember los chocolates Popeye? Do you remember? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh -huh. Do you remember the the Oro co cookies? I don't know if they produce them anymore, but they were my favorite. They were my favorite when I was a child. The uh, Oro, it was the Oro cookies. Don't you remember those? Oh, no, no. No? Uh, then you don't know what you missed okay you don't know what you missed it, they were delicious I, I loved them when I was a little girl maybe I, I'm going to tell you something that it happened to me it, the chocolate look. chocolate yes chocolate yeah chocolate I can't remember that and I have an experience with that had an experience with the, the chocolate. It was a chocolatina, right? Yes. Uh huh. Formos. Uh, ah, copinap. Copinap. Yeah, copinap. Yeah, uh, Nicaraguan, right? Nicaraguan. I don't know if it was Salvadoran. No, it's Salvador. It's Salvador. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, my my father working here. Oh, did he work in that company? Yes. Nice, interesting. Uh huh. Uh, Good. I remember when I I was chill. A child. Uh -huh. A child. A child. Uh, my father. Uh, my father. Uh, Brat? Uh, 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 oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Used to uh, bring, used to bring. Uh, 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 I, 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 I don't remember. Uh, nos llevaba. <laughs> used to bring. Uh, uh, used my to bring. father used to bring. My father used Chocolin to bring Chocolin. home. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I, I remember vaguely, I mean, uh, barely remember. I remember the, the, the name. I don't remember the flavor because maybe I was one year old, one or one and a half year old when it was in the market. Yeah, I can't remember that. And also we have an experience with my family with that chocolate because um, we had um, a bay, I mean, in my family, I was one year old, right? And then my mom tried to adopt another baby. Uh, actually it was accidentally because they found the baby in the street, abandoned. So um, he was, his skin was dark and my, my brothers and my sisters, they call him, they call him that nickname, that nickname, Chocolin, and he liked it, he liked it. 
well, he he stayed with us maybe a month, not more. Close, uh, close the company. He, uh, the not close the, close no, the... no, no. He wasn't over there. He, it was abandoned in in near our home. And I remember, I remember that was the nickname uh, they called my this this little baby. His skin was dark, and that's why they called him Chocolin, right? Chocolin, and they till these days they call him like that. They call him Chocolin, Chocolin this, Chocolin that. Yeah, that's okay. why I I have that experience with that product. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> five. <joke>. High five. <laughs> High five. Yeah. Bye. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. Is there any other product that you remember? For example, teacher, the DVD. DVD. DVDs. Yeah, DVDs. Uh, actually, DVDs. these computers, uh, they, I don't know if I can show you this. This is a computer that it still has uh, a DVD uh, ROM. I don't know what's the name of this. CD ROM? DVD. Yeah, CD ROM. Yeah, CD ROM. Yeah, and um, I don't remember. Burn, El Quemado de CDs, Burn. CDs, Burn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't remember what's the process. Of, I mean, what's the name of to that process? But it still works. It still works. What it doesn't work is the keyboard. Yeah, it's the keyboard. But the CD ROM, yeah, it works. Yeah, and they don't produce computers with the CD ROM anymore, right? We have to use USB or Bluetooth, but not CD ROMs anymore. Okay, uh, what else? Television programs that they have canceled. Do you remember? Fin de semana, right? Was canceled. Uh -huh. uh, in the uh, Christmas, Christmas season. Uh -huh. uh, gente chica. Gente chica. I don't remember gente chica. Do you remember gente chica, guys? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the chica. No, I don't remember the chica. Oh, my goodness. Oh, for example, uh, to... Uh, el tío Memo. I remember el tío Memo. Uh, videos. <laughs> videos. Uh, uh, name. Videos musicales. Uh, the Sixth Channel. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and sometimes they... Uh, we've draw from the market that kind of products and they be some of them become classics right they become classics and they um, get a new role in the market right uh, luxury things or a collect collectionable uh, items so they become that way uh-huh it's i mean they don't uh, function for what they were made for and they change the role, right? They change their role. Okay, people, so let's talk about the PLC. PLC. What does PLC stands for? Do you remember? Product life cycle. Yes, it's a cycle. Cycle of what? Of life, right? Aha. Uh -huh. What is a cycle? What is a cycle? Can you define what a cycle is? Google it, Google it, and then you tell it in your own words. What is a cycle? Cycle. Yeah, maybe. 
How do you say vida útil? Uh, you say like um, life of the product. Life of the product. Daily life. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, this <laughs> is uh huh. Uh, like Tell me. Jose. Tell me, Jose. Jose Miguel. Okay. Uh, cycle. Uh, course or series of events or operations that recur regularly and usually lead back to the starting point. Correct. That's the main thing here. In a cycle. We have stages, right? Stages, steps, levels, okay? But it start over and over and over, okay? Sometimes we have cycles that end, okay? We have cycles that have a starting and an end. But there are cycles, usually that cycle means that it starts over. It uh, goes to the, the first stage to restart, okay? To restart the process. With the product development process, we said that we had to go back to do the refinings, right? To do the... Uh, revision of the product or the process or whatever we want to revise, then we have to, we, we had to go back. In this case, it's not that we go back, we go to the beginning again, okay? And then it starts over. That's a cycle, that's a cycle. It's a loop. Is it? A loop. A loop, yeah, it is. It is a loop, yeah, because it goes a, the same direction over and over. Yeah, it's a loop. All right, so look, these are the stages of a product life, okay? When you introduce a product to the market, then you are in the first stage, right? It becomes to life, it becomes to life. But to introduce it to the market, we need to do the product development, remember? We need to start with an idea, then we try our idea, we prove our, our idea, we test our concepts, our ideas, and then we go to the, we take this idea into real, right already tested already seen already finished then you introduce it to the market what is um what is market what is market do you know what market is let's define what market is what is it market Market. market. The potential customers of a product or service. All right, potential customers. All right, good. Mm -hmm. The target or our audience. Correct. Our target audience. Mm -hmm. So the market introduction would be to introduce, uh, I'm sorry, tell me. I think it's a place or uh, a, a something that uh, is, uh, there are uh, uh, buyers and sellers. 
Very good. Very good. Yes. Uh, some place, some where, or uh, some uh, uh, that you can buy and you can uh, sell. Good. Where you interchange, I mean, exchange the exchange. products. Yeah. All right. You good. exchange. exchange. Products, right. Yes, that's correct. So we need to take our idea into real and then to put it in the market. That's market introduction. Put it in the market means the place, the people, the audience, right? So they, uh, our target, where we are going to sell our product, right? Where, who is going to buy my product? Who is going to distribute my product? That's the market, okay? That is the market, buyers and sellers. The seller is my company, the producer is my company, and the buyers is the segment that we defined, right? Or the people who need my, I mean, the, the people who need the product, the people who has the need of these products. So that's the market introduction. You put it the first time of in the place where they need the product. So it means market introduction. What about growth? Growth. Do you know what growth is? Growth? Incre increase. Increase right. or to, to go, go up. To... Correct. Raise up. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. That's correct. To... A, go to the next level, right? To right. increase means to um, get a bigger, a bigger um, audience, a bigger, you extended um, your distribution centers, for example. Now everybody or more people know about my product maybe the concept has been um, spread all over, okay? And we are growing, okay? We are growing in the sales of my product. When you grow, when you grow, you need to do some adjustments too, to the product and you have to diversify your product, right? And so, times not always um maybe a new product that you created in the product line comes and get or replace or take the place of my star product right but that's part of the growing part of the growth what about maturity 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 inspiration Expiration. Expiration. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. It's the, it's the high level that you can uh, uh, raise with a product or yes. with your service. Where you can reach. You can't yeah, reach you can anything reach. else. Uh, yeah. That's the main goal for that product. It doesn't yeah, right. function for anything else, right? right? Sometimes, as I said, in that level, in the maturity level, one of the diversification product becomes to the new star product and it replaces it right so it replaces it so now what about the decline decline what is decline decline when your product got a uh, uh, got the 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 maximum that you reach and you begin to get down Okay, then you decrease, right? Decrease. Then you decrease, decrease. Mm -hmm, yeah, decrease. your incomes right. from right. that product. You decrease. Nobody else decrease. wants to invest in that product. Maybe decrease. nobody else wants to distribute your product. 
maybe there are there are other products from our competitors that are that are taking Inferno. advantage of our product. Tell me, Elias. And maybe when the product lost present in the in 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 the mercado. Exactly. Some uh, that's correct. When your uh, product is losing the the presence or the name, right? And sometimes sometimes it's because the competitors have um, have taken what it was yours, right? They have taken what it was yours, maybe for an improvement in their product that they did it before you realized that that. Uh, that need existed right so or maybe um a renovation or a renewal of the product would um of another product i mean from the competitors comes to um, Richard, excuse me tell me uh can you as as pass assistant Yes, <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, no, no problem, no problem. It's okay. I said that you that I needed you to remind me. Okay, just Whoa. remember: market introduction, growth, maturity, decline are the stages mm -hmm. of the PLC, and your job will be to define each uh, each stage. Okay, and you are going to tell me what the product life uh, cycle is. What uh, is um the market introduction what's the growth what the maturity what is the decline stage okay about and your own words before seeing this theoretically okay so let's let, let, um, let's oh my goodness i am salvadoran <laughs> you know this right okay el salvadoreño se me salió bye vamos a ver vamos a ver <laughs> Para que vean que soy salvoreño. All right, people. So, it says nine. Okay. Um, remember, we need to turn the cameras on and you have to stay present when I call your name. Uh, <clears throat> there we go. I about in different, okay, here we are. You guys ready? Yes. Yes, we go. Yes. All right. Yeah, we are going to do this in a different way. You are going to mention one product that doesn't exist anymore, okay? That will be your present. Instead of saying present, you will say a product that doesn't exist anymore. Okay, let's start. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Piñat, Peñate. Oh, he, he was having problem. I don't know if you can do it through the chat, Mr. Álvaro. Oh, he got disconnected. All right. Here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Uh, Gloopy Refresh. Good. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. I'm here. A product that doesn't exist anymore. Un producto que ya no existe. A ver, a product that uh, doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, uh, or uh, the, the chocolate. All right, good. I, I knew you were going to say that one, Boris. Yeah. Okay. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. The lip hop. Oh, doesn't exist the lip hop anymore? Doesn't it? Well, I think so. That's it. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's bad news to me. <laughs> okay. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. 
um, let me see. Uh, Hyper Aurora. I'm sorry? Hyper Europa Store. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yes. It was merged, right, with the Walmart thing. Yes, you're right. Yes. Uh huh. Good, good. Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. Um, blockbuster. Oh, yeah, that's iconic. Eulise Torres Torres. Yeah, teacher. But uh, I don't know what to say. I don't remember. Something any, in any your plot. area? Uh huh. I will say the floppy disks, right? The floppy disks. Do you remember the floppy disks? No. No? No, teacher. Oh my goodness. You didn't have childhood. What a sad childhood you had. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I, I don't have any idea. Okay. All right. No problem. No problem. It's okay. okay. Uh, so that's homework for you, okay? That's homework. <laughs> okay, All tomorrow. Right. Good. Fatima Noemi, Umaña Castro. Ahí está, pero sin micrófono, creo. Yeah, she has some trouble with the audio. Yeah, she had, she had some trouble at the beginning. Okay, Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Present, um, Roca Nieve. Ah, Roca Nieve. Doesn't exist anymore? Oh my no, goodness. I think that was delicious. That, uh, I mean, doesn't it exist? Or does it? Roca no. Nieve. No. Okay. No okay. more. No more. <laughs> Hasta ahora me estoy dando cuenta. Till now I'm realizing all that. <laughs> Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Disquete. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. The disquets. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Bigots. Um, oh, yeah. Bigots. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All junk food. I'm that team. Bigs. <laughs> yes. Karen Lisa Sanchez Ernesto. Vips. Yeah, Vips. Uh -huh. uh, excuse me. Uh, Bigots. Oh, biggest. Okay, okay. Existe Pero, uno, creo. Ah, el que estaba a carretera Santa Tecla, eh, al yeah. puerto, ¿verdad? Yeah. yeah. There was one. Yeah. Is it, I'm sorry. Is, I'm sorry. <laughs> is it still open? Yes. Oh, okay. Then I'm going. To, I need to go. I need to go. ¿Y se acuerdan? Pero alguien dijo Vips. No. Do you remember Vips? Yes, ice, ice cream. Ice creams, yeah. Uh -huh. Do you remember the song? Beeps, beeps, beeps. Ven a beeps a disfrutar. <laughs> Don't you remember? Los yeah. deliciosos sabores con fantásticos colores. No. <laughs> Ven a beeps a donde te espera un manjar al paladar. <laughs> Don't you remember? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh. Oh. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Oh, what? Gloopy. Gloopy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Koopy. Do, do you remember Koopy? The small bubblegum shoes or these chips. Don't you remember those? They they, they came in, in a bag. They came in, in a plastic bag, like uh, the churritos, that kind of thing. Okay. And it was Koopy. C U P I. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Blackberry. 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 Oh, the phone. Yay. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I remember that. Uh -huh. El Star Tac y el Blackberry. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Shell, the gas station. The gas station. Isn't there any shell anymore here in the South Shore? Mm, I don't know. All right. No. All right. No. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Great, Nelson. Big phone. 
What? Uh, payphone. 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 Yes. I don't know what is that. What, what is it? A public phone. Oh, when my God. When you use a, a, a yeah, coin. Yeah, okay. Okay, a prepaid. Yeah. All right. All right, good. Mm -hmm. The public phones, this kind of, yeah. And I remember those of cars that they didn't function any, I mean, they were so expensive. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, Rafael Alexander Cernadia said that paid phones, all right. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar? Uh, I think Betamax. Oh Do you yeah. remember Betamax? Yes, I do, I do remember that. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez? Didn't arrive, they didn't show up tonight. Okay, uh, Santiago, you said Betamax. Did you watch any movie in Betamax? Yes, I I saw any. Uh, okay. VHS. And you had to buy v them? VHS. Or... VHS, huh? yeah, the VHS. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, with the VHS, it was a longer period of time and right. because of the blockbuster and those kind right. of uh, rental videos, right? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you're right. But I, is, it was a short time that uh, yeah, the maturity, it was very short. that's the maturity, it was uh, short. Short, yeah. The maturity of the product. Mm -hmm. We're going to see then how to define that, like, with the whys, right? Why did this happen? Mm, we're going to try to define um, when they should notice that they are going to go to the decline, right? And what to do to improve that. That's the idea in this um, in this module, guys. All right, it's 10.02 right now. I'm so sorry. We need to uh, finish the class here. We need to end and time is up. So we need to say goodbye. Okay, please think about the stages of the product life cycle. Try to define them. Tomorrow, we're going to define them as the book says, okay? Just by the book. So um, the homework is about definitions. So we're going to see the definitions tomorrow. So you have enough time tomorrow to do it. If you can do it, it's okay. Please do your homework, okay? Please do, please try to do your homework. They are definitions, okay, of these stages. So is there any questions so far? So oh. far, so good? So far, so good. Is it all clear? So, so. All was clear. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, just my glasses, you will say. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> clear like horchata or clear like water? Clear like water. <laughs> okay, like horchata, <laughs> like water. Okay, <laughs> good. Like the river and the rainy season, right? <laughs> okay. No worries, no worries. Tomorrow we are going to continue with the same topic. We need to achieve more vocabulary and also to define definitions by the book. All right, guys. Okay. Today we have the um, session one-on-one -on -one available for Alvaro Ernesto. I'm seeing that he does not, well, he's not connected anymore. Si alguien quiere quedarse ahorita, Eh, tenemos el espacio de los 10 minutos. ¿Alguien quisiera quedarse? ¿Preguntas? No. No, Thank no you. questions. No See questions. you later. Ok, bueno, vamos <laughs> a guardar <laughs> los pisques con el chocolate, pues ni modo. Nadie se va a quedar. Bueno, está bien, está bien. Yo me lo como, yo, yo, yo. All right. <laughs> Then see you tomorrow, guys, please, at 8 p.m. And have a good rest. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 night. Night. good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Yeah.
Teacher. Tell me, Carlos Alberto, hi. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, I have a problem with the connection, the internet. Oh, yeah, I was noticing I, I, that. I, I do not listen. I do not listen the checklist. Oh, allow me to see that, to double check. Mm -hmm. uh, the product, uh, the product, uh, the Pepsi, Pepsi Blue. Oh, I never see that one. Okay, Pepsi Blue. Uh, yeah, uh, my father uh, 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 learned learn the, the history. Oh, seriously? The, the, the product, the product Pepsi Blue. Uh huh, uh huh. Is the product Hold? Oh. I mean, it's the first product they did, or. or... Okay, Carlos Alberto, good. That's interesting. The Pepsi Blue. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Thank you very much, Carlos. I checked you in already, okay? Tapachulteca also, right? Excuse me, teacher. Yes, I saw that you were you got this connected. I mean the audio, right? The audio is giving you trouble. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was I was googling it because it was interesting. It was interesting about the Pepsi Blue. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. Then see you tomorrow, Carlos Alberto. Have a very good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you. Bye. Bye.